So here we want to name this compound and it's organic chemistry so there's a few rules that we need to go by. So first off we can see here that we have um, halogens, we have Cl right here and here. And then we also have a group, um, we have a methyl group right here. So we need to take notice of that. So first what we want to do always is to start counting from the least, um, the least number. So we would start counting um, and then also the halogens have preference. So take those two into account and since this is a, this is a benzene, just by the shape of it, um, it's a benzene. We can pretty much start anywhere but then again the halogens take um, preference so we're going to start at a halogen group. And then we have two um, halogens, we have Cl and Cl here, so that would be a di with a prefix di because it's two. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. So this would be one, I can name them, be one, two, this way, three, four, five, and six. So we would start right here. So we would go ahead and um, start naming it by putting a one and then putting a comma because we're going to name the other, we're going to put the place of the carbon on which the other halogen is present on. So that would be three. And then like I mentioned earlier, it's, it, we would put di because it's, it's two and so the prefix di means two. So we're going to go ahead and put di chloro because it's chlorine, the halogen. And I'm just color coding them so it'll be sort of easier. And then also um, we always put a dash in between here and then another dash. And then we're going to go ahead and name the methyl group which is on carbon 4. So we're going to go ahead and put a 4 and then a dash and then we're going to name what group that is or what it's called and that would be um, methyl and then we simply just state after that um, what the whole thing is which is a benzene so we would just put benzene like so and that's pretty much how you name them so again, um, we want to start off from the least uh, number of carbon, the least, uh, yeah, the least number of carbon, but also since this is a benzene, it's circular, so you can pretty much start from wherever you want. And right here, when I first saw this problem, I initially wanted to start counting from here because I saw this group here, and I figured that's more important. But halogen always takes preference. So then we would either start here or here. But then I also know that you go clockwise and then you have two chlorines. So we need to take that into account and know that we're going to name them. When we name them, we're going to include this prefix, this prefix here, di, because there's two. And then, um, of course, starting from the least number of, of the carbon, so then it would be one and then three, and then the dichloro. And every time that you have a halogen, um, say we had, say we had bromo, say we had um, bromine, so instead of, instead of it being Cl, we would have Br right here. It would be bromo. So just take notice of that ending, chloro, bromo, so, but for the purposes of the problem, we have chloro, and then we would go to the number four because that's where something else is occurring, and we have a methyl group, and then since that is the last thing that's occurring, after that, we're going to just add the name of the whole um, shape of it, which is a benzene, and there's no dash included in that. So, we basically end up with one comma three dash dichloro dash four dash methyl benzene.